Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Collector 2020 Roaring Allosaurus model. Now, this represents Allosaurus jimadsenai, which is a newly described species from 2019, as opposed to the more well-known Allosaurus fragilis, which is what most reconstructions are. I decided to review this specific Allosaurus model because this is to coincide with my Ballad of Big Al review, and Big Al was actually referred to this new species. So I thought it seemed appropriate to review what is essentially the closest we have to a Big Al model. Now, Allosaurus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in the Morrison Formation of the Western United States in the late Jurassic around 155 million years ago. Okay, so getting into the actual model. Now, this figure is kind of an interesting case, as I think it's really well sculpted, but there's a few things about it that really hold it back, unfortunately. Now, starting with the head, you can see it's got that very distinct A. Jimadsenai head, which is that the cheekbones are pretty shallow, whereas on A. fragilis, they're very deep. So I think this is definitely meant to represent Jimadsenai. I believe the lower jaw is also slimmer. If the camera will focus. There we go. But I could be wrong on that. On the top of the head, you can just barely make out uh, the red coloration on the crest. The crests look really good though, so I think I can excuse the kind of dull color scheme they've gone with for this model, because you can just barely make it out. Speaking of, the colors overall on this model are pretty meh. They're not bad at all, it's just, it's kind of bland, it's like a very dark green with some lighter greens splashed in. But overall, I, th I think it's okay. The teeth are also pretty simple, they're just kind of like little pegs, but they don't look bad, and plus when it's this small, I don't really mind, you can see the tongue has been painted in there, that looks really good. Can't really see the roof of the mouth. The arms look really good, they've made the first claw the biggest, which is accurate, and this leads us on to my biggest issue with this model, and that is the chest. Now the chest itself is fine, but I think you can see where my issue lies. Look at all the legal information just so blatantly displayed on this model. When you look at it from the front, it's really obvious. It really sticks out like a sore thumb. Just a big CE right between its arms and the Collecte logo, Allosaurus. I just, I feel like they could have either made that legal information smaller or made the overall sculpt bigger. I feel like this was just a problem that could have simply been avoided. Yeah, it's just, it really takes you out of the immersion that this could be like a real animal. I, I know it's obviously plastic, but it can kind of spoil the the view a lot, I find. The tail is really long, and I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty accurate, to be honest. Uh, the feet are pretty good. The middle toe should probably be a bit longer, and the paint on the toe claws is a little bit sloppy, but that could just be on mine. The grey kind of bleeds onto the toes a bit, but it's not too bad. The legs are well muscled, and something else I find interesting about this model is that there's these dorsal spines going from the back of the head all the way to the tip of the tail. I don't think I've ever seen Allosaurus reconstruct with these. I feel like these are more of like a Ceratosaurus kind of thing, but I mean they do look they look pretty cool and they do add a dash of like a like a splash of colour to an otherwise pretty bland blandly coloured model. So uh, I, I guess it's pretty cool. You can also see there's some osteoderms here. The same sort of deal with those. I I don't think I've ever seen these on Allosaurus, but I mean they're pretty cool. So I'll let that slide. In terms of stability, it does stand up pretty well but they have had to oversize the feet a bit, but that's okay. But what surprises me 
is that Collecte were doing such a great job with doing bases on their uh, theropods and yet they've decided to stop doing that for some reason so they've had to opt for giving them the big clown feet to make them stand. I don't know why they decided to do that but I, I really hope that they go back to doing bases sooner rather than later. So I've mentioned a few times that the size of this model was kind of weird. Uh, it is very small so when we measure it here we're looking at just about, uh, let's say, just over, well, around 17 and a half centimeters long, which in inches would be uh, just uh, just shy of seven inches. And then in terms of height, looking at about just under 10 centimeters, or just under four inches. So yeah, this model's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like, in conclusion, I wish it was bigger. The color scheme I don't think is great, but it's not bad, it looks realistic. Uh, I just wish that this could have either been smaller or the overall sculpt would be bigger so it wouldn't look so obtrusive to the, the realism of this figure, which is just such a shame. When you look at it from the side or from above it doesn't look too bad but straight on just seeing that big C it's just really ugh, it's not great from that view overall though I think this is a really good model and it's nice that we have a Jim Adsenai or Big Al in figure form in a sense so I'll let it slide thank you so much for watching uh, there should be a link to my Ballad of Big Al review on the screen uh, and I will see you guys next time bye bye now